What's up? This video has been in the work for the past. Holy shit, it's been three fucking years. Now you might be wondering, QAC, why are you called? <laughs> Orphan Annihilator? <laughs> that is because after playing this game for the past few days, I have come to the conclusion that most of the people I have been playing against must not have any fucking parents. And before any of you so-called orphans out there start commenting on this video, I want you to take a look at this. This thing, this foul creature, is the result of what happens when real humans stop playing a game. These bots were abandoned by their parents, QB Games, and are left to roam uninhabited servers just to exist solely for the purpose of getting shot in the fucking head by any human player they so come across. And that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. But before we start beating these inanimate orphans with the metaphorical belt that is my pixelated sniper rifle, I wanna get into just how insanely shameless the game has become. I mean, don't get me wrong, the game's always been exploitative ever since Cubic Games took over, but the sheer amount of microtransactions I got bombarded with upon launching this game is actually fucked. But a fucking 90% of the screen consists of ways to extract money from my dried up bank account. Gem reward. <clears throat> Fuck my throat. Gem rewards, coal rewards, buying coins and gems, sets, lottery, gems and coins again, battle pass, polar expedition, some ad with 500 other types of currency, and then all the way at the bottom in the fucking right. Not sure if you noticed it, but there is actually a way you can play the game, believe it or not. Daily rewards? J -j just let me play the fucking game! Let me play the fucking game! <laughs> It is like the developers looked at every exploitative game on the market and nitpicked the most cancerous things they can in order to squeeze its player base dry before they all drop dead from financial ruin. And speaking of financial ruin, you're gonna have to spend a lot of fucking money if you want to make category spam a somewhat viable playstyle in the current meta of the game. Like, the amount of overpowered guns with fixed delay that are in the game right now have made cat spamming almost completely obsolete. Playing cat spam in today's meta especially against people with good guns and armor, is the equivalent of breaking your fucking legs to compete in the Paralympics. Actually, no, not even. That is being fucking generous. It is more like breaking your legs, being rejected from the Paralympics, and still having to compete against people with functioning legs. That is basically the disadvantage you'll have if you don't play according to the current meta. Now, I'm personally not too bothered by it, because my playstyle has never really involved category spam. I mean, I can do it if you hold a gun to my fucking head. But I mean, otherwise, I would preferably just, you know, kill the enemy with one shot to the head with a sniper rifle. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on cat spam. I'm just saying that technically, the fastest way to kill an enemy in the game is with one shot to the head. <laughs> it's what I would say if Cubic Games hadn't also managed to make headshots an obsolete strategy in the current meta. This is because there's so much equipment in the game now that people can literally just flat out ignore headshot damage and no sniper that I own is even capable of one-shotting to the body anymore. And I have every single sniper before 2021 upgraded to mythical with X modules and the pumpkin mask. And still some enemies require two shots. I mean I know that the gameplay on screen says otherwise and makes my playstyle seem completely broken. But keep in mind that this is only because I show you guys the absolute best clips that I got. If you looked at my average gameplay, people will just randomly go invisible, survive multiple shots to the body, or say racial slurs in the chat. God damn, I wish I was kidding about that last part. While on the topic of discrimination though, if a developer of Cubic Games is watching this right now, I don't actually hate you. This video is purely for entertainment purposes, but I do have a genuine question that has plagued my mind mind since someone has brought it up to me. Namely, why is there a blonde hair, blue eyes girl skin in the game with a uniform that I can only describe as looking eerily similar to a certain German uniform that I will not speak the name of? I mean, in your defense, the uniform does look pretty badass, but I fail to see how something with such a strong historical impact fits into the lore of Pixel Gun. Actually, they did have that D-Day map a while back, so I guess the skin has to be lore accurate. <laughs> Actually, just imagine that. Imagine sitting in the trenches of fucking Normandy while Blockman starts cat spamming and your entire squadron of soldiers. Dude just starts mowing down your bitch asses with the Marlin. You know, maybe consider putting another German soldier in the lottery next update and I might actually consider spending money again. Like, 
let's see if there's any private matches available. And holy shit, there is. Actual blood moon occurrence in this dead game. What's up? Fuck, it's a girl. Best of luck. I've actually been A-maxing for the past four hours. Let's mock her bitch ass. And yet, another successful title defense from QWAG. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was fun, though. People need to understand that this is literally just a kid's game, and they need to stop with the wannabe esports bullshit and just have fun. The game's not that serious, and some of you motherfuckers are wasting your life away in an attempt to get attention from people that are just as fucking miserable. And I mean, yeah, I do acknowledge that I'm kind of a fucking hypocrite for saying that, but at least I'm self-aware of how stupid it is to be skilled at a game like this, which is why I quit. Be right back, I'm taking a piss. My point is that nothing good comes from playing Pixagon competitively, and it would be a lot better to just suck up the fact that the world fucking sucks. But at the end of the day, only you can make it better for yourself. So, don't neglect your potential, man. Fuck you, kid. I mean, GG. That's about it. I don't really have anything else to talk about. I mean, hit me up on Instagram at qwag.pg if you want to contact me. And I mean, if this video's reception is any decent, I might actually make another one of these. Just for fun, though. I don't really want to monetize the videos on this channel because, quite frankly, it's too much of a hassle to do so. I would much rather just say whatever I want without having to please the algorithm in any way. So again, this video isn't like a comeback or some shit. I'm just here to have some fun. And if anyone wants to join in, it's completely fine. I'd much rather not make any money off of this. Now normally I'd play the fucking Jake Hill stay outro song, but that's completely copyrighted now, so unfortunately I guess I'm gonna have to pick something else. Maybe I've been wasting time, my state of mind's been a little hazy lately, but I stay alive. Come take a dive inside my head, feeling down. Yeah, yeah. You ready for that nostalgia trip? You ready for that nostalgia song? <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck you. See you later.